Now I'd like to discuss another network problem. It's called the shortest path problem. In this example, let's say that we're trying to figure out the shortest path to get between the university and the airport. So let's say that we've got our little network diagram here that we start out at, at node 1 at the university and at Chaparral, 25 miles down the road, we can exit perhaps and take the scenic route this way or we can continue on the highway and then make a decision at Trans Mountain. At Trans Mountain we can get off, go up over the top of the mountain and meet up with this other road here or we can continue on the highway another 20 miles to this node here. If we've taken Trans Mountain uh, to Node 4 or the Chaparral route we can continue on to Fred Wilson and at that point we can exit and go through the military base to the airport or we can continue on and meet up with the other highway in node 6 and get to the airport that way. So there's about what three or four different possibilities here. Uh, in a larger network of course you wouldn't want to enumerate all the possibilities but in this problem we could pretty easily do that. But uh, in a realistic shortest path problem you're going to maybe have hundreds of, of nodes and uh, you'll want to figure out the, the shortest path using an integer programming model again. This is again a 0-1 integer programming where xij is equal to 0 if you don't take the path, 1 if you do take the path, and it's uh, sub ij from node i to j. So the first constraint x12 is going to be equal to 1 because we, we definitely are going to take this path. Let's take a look at that. Okay, starting out with the objective function, we're minimizing the, the total uh, cost, cost here is the uh, miles to the airport, and the cost function is 25x12 plus 18x24, and so on. First constraint, x12, x12 is equal to 1. Second constraint. This is where it gets a bit tricky. x12 is equal to x24 plus x23. Now why would that be? x12, this is like our balancing constraints that we had in the transshipment problem. x12, whatever goes into no to a node must come out, is equal to x24 plus x23. So one of these is going to be forced to be 1, because we know this is already 1. So either x24 or x23 is also going to be 1. Okay, so every node is going to have a constraint, just like that. Next one, x23 is equal to x34 plus x36. x23 is equal to x34 plus x36. So if x23 was 1, then one of these, either this one or this one, must also be 1. But if x23 was 0, then both of these are going to be 0 as well. See how that works? So every node has a constraint like that. So x34 plus x24 is equal to x45. So if either one of these is 1, that, that'll be a 1 as well. x45 is equal to x57 plus x56. So whatever goes into the node must go out. And then finally x57 plus x67 will have to be equal to 1. That's where we force it. That one of those going into the airport has to be 1. Okay? So there's the rest of the formulation. I'll also post this on WebCT.